And so um, afterward, they said, well, where did you get those from? <laughs> I said, oh, All right. oh, man, I'm alone now, Karen. <laughs> yeah, and then, what's her name? I was like, okay, y'all going too far now. Oh. It's not my Ernest. <laughs> it seems like I've heard that name. Yep. Mm -hmm. Girl, we could we can all we gotta create our own stuff and do it as a team. You and I. We gotta do something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do this thing. This man. So I'm, as far as I can see now, you're live on Facebook. Yes, we are. I just went when I came back in. We are live on Facebook. It's 8 30 a.m. And I just, hey girl, good morning, hey to me, good morning. hey Dale. And hey. Um, as others come in, uh, we will uh, go ahead and uh, and get started because it's 831. And because if don't nobody show up, I'm still going to teach it. If I got to teach it to the Facebook by this step. Okay? Right, right. I just did it. Uh, th today our lesson, you know, somebody want to open us up with prayer? Father God in heaven, in Jesus' name we come to you, Lord. We love you and thank you for this time together and learning. We ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we're so grateful that you're able to ha allow us and praise with, we're, we're so grateful that we're able to praise your holy name and love you, Lord. And we just thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good morning, Mary. Good morning, darling. Good morning. Well, darlings. <laughs> Good morning. We would like to, today our lesson is coming from Discipleship Evangelism. Uh, with Discipleship Evangelism is Andrew Womack's first ever study guide. And it is a compilation of 48 lessons. And each, each uh, is broken down into uh, groups of Three, three groups, those 48 lessons, and they are 16 lessons per group. So there's level one, which is basic discipleship. Level two is discipling to maturity. And level three is when the disciple becomes the disciple maker. So this level today is the very first lesson in level three. So we have completed 32 lessons, y'all. Y'all need to give yourselves a hand on that. That's great. We've completed level one and level two. And now we are going into level three. And then discipleship evangelism will be complete. Today, our lesson, this section is about teaching you to teaching you the disciple to become the disciple maker. Okay? So uh, in our lesson today, I'm going to uh, start, I'm going to pull it up. Uh, the, this, the topic is called Divine Flow. Divine Flow. Okay. And uh, let me share my screen with you. And so that we can uh, begin to do that one, Divine Flow. All right. All right. When we say divine flow, when we say divine, what are we what are we talking about? When we the definition for divine, I have it up here in this right hand corner. So, uh, read that and read the definition for flow. Divine, divine is of our. Oh, I'm sorry. Divine is of or from God, and flow is a steady stream of something. So when we talk about the divine flow, we know divine is of God, okay? Something of God, okay? Divine. And flow is when something is streaming, uh, it's a steady stream of something. So as we go today, we're going to be trying to see what is, in other words, it's saying that God himself is going to flow. And, and that's what this is going to be talking about, how God is flowing, how God flows. And so we're going to be looking at that today. And I want someone to, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay. I think that's, is that, is it, is it, is it streaming well? 
Perfect. Yeah. Now this is a short lesson, okay? It's a short lesson, but what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, um, it, it brings up a lot of good conversation though, okay? So somebody read that first paragraph for me, please. And if you notice question number one in the outline, in the margin, it'll show you the question number one is gonna be asked from this particular uh, paragraph. Can I get a read up? Yes, okay. You can begin to let God flow through you to minister to other people. You have the power and anointing of God in you, but how do you get it out to other people? There are a number of scriptures. There are a number of scriptures we can start with. In, Philipp in Phil Philemon or Philemon 6, Paul is praying that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. <laughs> the first step is in having the power of God flow through you to other people is that you first acknowledge the good things that are inside you. You can't give away what you don't have, but once you know what you have on the inside, things will automatically begin to happen. You'll begin to share with others your excitement, give testimonies of what God has done in your life, and automatically some people will be helped. And that is a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. It was okay, good. Okay, so uh, it, it is good. Hey, Carol. Hey, Keith. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning everyone. Good morning. And, hey, April. <laughs> you snuck in on me. Okay, when we look at this, I'm going to keep this up because I want you to flow with this. Uh, does everybody have their book or something? Oh, you can't, it, when we talk about divine flow, divine is anything of God or from God, and flow is a stream or something. The very, per, the very first sentence tells us how that flow works. Can somebody tell me how does the flow work? Because when, when we say the, the God flow, that's what the divine flow is the same as the God flow. Once somebody read that first. Go ahead. Once you know what you have on the inside, things will automatically begin to happen. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and says, uh, when you begin to let God flow through you, to minister to other people, okay? Oh, okay. That's, what, that's what we're talking about, the, the, when God is gonna flow through you to minister to other people. This is, this is left, this is um, level three, okay? Lesson one of, of discipleship evangelism, level three, lesson one. So this section is about teaching us how the disciple becomes the disciple maker. So it tells you right off the bat that you can begin to let God flow through you to minister to other people. So now I'm going to learn how you are going to be ministering and how God's going to flow through you. That's what it's all about. Okay. And, but the question number one, uh, it says about it, it. Question number one says, read Philemon six. And the question is, what is the first step in allowing God to flow out of us? Somebody read Philemon. It's in the scripture. It's in the um, in the paragraph right here. That's the communication right here. Somebody read that. That the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And I think that's what Carol, that's what you was just, you was answering that question when you were speaking, when you gave that answer uh -huh. before, I think. But the answer is, so what is the first step we got to do? Acknowledge. For, for God, for <clears throat> acknowledge yeah. every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Because then it, that, it says that the communication, the, 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 the way you're going to get God's message across, the communication of your faith. You see where it says 
that the community, oh, I hate this little thing. Hold on one second. Do y'all see this little thing popping up on my screen? Y'all yeah. might not see it. I, it. It's popping up on me and it gotta go. But I, I think y'all realize we moving a little faster today, right? Uh-huh, we got the at and people to come out yesterday to fix the computer. So let me, right. don't, don't, don't speak too fast. Okay, now, if somebody explain uh, uh, Philemon 6, explain it, you, you, you guys explain. You can, what happens is when you start reading the Bible and start getting revelation and like Carol said, knowing who you are in Christ, um, the words just start to come out at the right time. And I, I have to say something. I was starting to write something. I, I didn't even look at this. Um, the Holy Spirit is so crazy wonderful because I didn't even look at this lesson ahead of time and I sent Philemon 1-6 in a text to my uncle this morning. <laughs> and it was, uh, that, that just blew my mind when I read that. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> but th that becomes, instead of like a sin nature, this becomes now our new nature. It becomes the oh, word flows good. through us, you know? So we become instead of handling problems with natural things, we'll we'll just start sending the word to people, and the more yeah. the more we do, the more it flows naturally. The more we do say things and of Christ and of the Word and in the Bible, the more it flows naturally. The more it just comes out of us. Because it says the communication of your thy faith. In other words, you're going to start telling people about your faith, what you believe. And it says in that scripture that the communication of your faith is going to be effective by you acknowledging when you know what you got, like didn't he say, when you know, when you know what you got, what's inside of you, you want to tell somebody, is that true or not? Oh, yeah. Amen. For sure. For sure. I mean, you, you just want other people to know what you know. Because you don't want nobody, none of your friends and family and everybody to go to hell. You yeah. want them to be saved too, you know? And so that's what the Philemon 6, but it says in order for your communication of your faith to become effective, because that's the goal for, your, for the communication of your faith. When you communicate your faith for it to be effective in another person's life, you have to do one thing, and the thing you have to do is you have to acknowledge every good thing that is in you, that is in Christ Jesus. How do you how do you uh, how do you acknowledge what's in you? How do you get to even know what's in you? You testify. Yeah. Sure. You testify, yeah, testimony. give testimony. And basically, it's what the word says about who we are, you know, what we have and what we can do. Because even yes. that, first, that first statement is just so exciting that you can let God flow through you. First of all, we didn't even know that was a possibility because we were looking, prior to studying and reading the word, because we were just looking at ourselves as just natural human beings and looking at our flaws and you know all the condemnation and whatever we thought that was for uh you know super saint um you know minister so-and-so uh bishop so-and-so <laughs> oh they flow so well in the spirit and they are so anointed not knowing that you are anointed if you're in christ jesus you are anointed wow. so that's all of that communicating your faith First of all, you have to know what you have, and then you can communicate that not only to others, but to yourself as well. So the basis of it is um, your identity and what the word says about you, what the word says That's about right. you. I think also That's that right. when, you, uh, when you end up knowing what God has done for you, you want to express the same thing for somebody else when you see that they're having this similar issues or issues like 
like I have a son who's an alcoholic and he's bitter and he's holding grudges and stuff like that. And I keep saying to him, like, you have to stop holding that grudge and get rid of that. And that'll help you to go forward. But also, I mean, they know about Christ, but, and they, and they, they know that I, I'm a believer, but it's like, you got to kind of say stuff sometimes that's not like blatant. Ah, believe in right. Jesus. It's solve all your problems. <laughs> it doesn't that's always right. work like that. It, do, it doesn't work like that. You, but one of the ways that you can help them uh, is, like you say, you just have to allow the Holy Spirit because God will use that. That's how we're going to see in our lesson today how God is going to flow through you. Okay. And so let's, let's let me go back to, uh, to that screen. And we're going to finish. May I say something? May I say something? Yes, ma'am. And I just want to say, that's Carol, huh? To just, well, you already know this, but I'm just putting it out there for everybody, I guess. Um, to just keep standing in the gap. Always standing oh, yeah. in the gap. Because that love, that love is going to bring them through. That love for Christ, for God is going to bring them through. All right, y'all. And your I, love for your son is bringing through, too. I, yes. I have okay. to tell you. A year and a half ago, when I was a year ago, when I was on the pontoon boat with my son, he's like, "Don't you talk to me about that God stuff," and 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 I was like, "No problem," and I've never pushed it on them. And this year, I have talked to him about the Lord. I told him, you know, God doesn't want to put you in hell. You're going to put yourself in hell by not believing in Him. It's not because of your sin. And I got to see a lot of stuff this year because of everything that's going on. So you have to wait for that opportunity as well. Yes. Have yeah. several yes, sons. You do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You know, uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna keep going, because I want this paragraph is uh, wide open. And Denise, I'm going to, I don't know what is happening. We just got a brand new computer system here yesterday. But I'm, I'm, is it not gonna win? Amen. Not today. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. You can yes. hear me, but it's, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Golly. This you just keep freezing a little bit. Maybe it's your internet connection. But I just upgraded it yesterday. They went to extra high speed yesterday. Um, There's an app you can get and check it. Because sometimes they say it's going to be one thing and it ends up being another. Yeah. I know. That's what I was thinking. Because my sister got the highest internet. And guess what? It looked like it was the slowest internet, she said. Right. <laughs> OK. Um, OK, for those of you that have uh, your books because i'm trying to share my screen it's not allowing me to share it wait a minute i think am i sharing now not, not yet no it's not okay i actually this have is, no this weapon formed against us shall prosper. amen no weapon jesus name anybody can get this up here I'll try and share mine. Okay, let's let's read this. Finish reading this first paragraph. Okay, that'll be good. You froze, Denise. See, that's you froze now. Denise, yeah, that, it's touchy with the Zoom. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe this time of the morning is like everybody in the world is on Zoom now or something. Maybe. I don't know. Must be. Because we did, but but I could see if it was happening yesterday. But anyway, okay, let's keep going. Somebody, I need you to uh, in that first paragraph. It says right after that Philemon scripture. Uh, I want you to read that again. It says, it says the very first step. 
the very first step in having the power of God flow through you to other people is that you first acknowledge the good things that are inside you. You can't give away what you don't have. But once you know what you have on the inside, things will automatically begin to happen. You'll begin to share with others your excitement, give testimonies of what God has done in your life, and automatically some people will be helped. Okay, when we looked at that, when you see right here where it says, first of all, do you know that the power of God will flow through you? Yes. Okay, if you know that, then don't be afraid to uh, to 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 let him flow, to let him do it, because it's 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 not you, it's 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 him. He it says you can't give away what you don't have. A lot of people, as we said already, don't know what they have in Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, Denise. You, you're not, I'm not seeing any, are y'all seeing the screen? No, it says Denise has started sharing, screen sharing, but it's, it's not. not yeah. Any. yeah, I'm going to try to, try to get Just out of stop here. Sharing. Just stop sharing and we'll look around the, the screen. Yeah, my Everybody screen should have started it down. Okay. Your screen went gray? My screen went blank. Okay, that's, didn't get anything. that's what was happening to me yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And um, I'm wondering if it is Zoom. Because I was doing everything on uh, this yesterday. You know, it could be Zoom because Zoom may only started out with so much uh, bandwidth or whatever. And they might have uh, not upgraded their system and they're getting overflowed. So it could be Zoom itself. Okay. Well, we're not going to. Uh, uh, let me, let me, I'm going to come in on my phone too. We're not going to, uh, what, what's the word I want to say? We're not going to use this, the, we got, we're not going to bring up the, uh, the lesson. We're going to begin to read it and talk about it. Okay. okay. So in that lesson, in that paragraph, it says, um, mo most of you don't, once you know what you have on the inside, things will automatically begin to happen. What are some of the things that you know that is uh, you, that is every good thing that's in you? Tell me something you know about yourself, who you are in Christ, what you have in Christ, something you've learned about yourself since you've been uh, spiritually connected to God. Because I know that I, I am righteous. Go ahead, Carol, just, just say it, babe. When it, one of the first things that I got a real revelation of when I was watching Andrew was that God is not holding anything against you. And I think a lot of people, right. God is mad at them. And that he, whatever you did in your past is going to stop you from going forward. And I think that's one of the things that I learned right away was that he's not holding any of that against me. He's already paid the price for all that. And I just have to say, thank you. You did it for me. And they, it made a way for me to communicate with him. And I'm not any longer looked at as if, in my mind anyways, that I'm nothing to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm valuable to him. That's right. You are born to heirs? Yeah, go ahead. You're born in again we're joint heirs we're beloved we have the mind of christ uh -huh. christ the healer lives in us the same holy spirit that raised jesus from the dead is inside of us and the same yes, work do. that he did on earth when he was here we can do that and even greater Okay, I am accepted yep. by God. All, right. all of that, all of that is things that we have. Are we getting a little delay? Yeah. 
She said she's yeah, doing we, it on her phone. She said something. We have an we have some serious technical difficulties right here. Look, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go out, come in on my. I just upgraded my phone to 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 give me a uh, high spot, high speed. So let's. I'm gonna go out and come back on that. So I'm gonna cut it off and then then y'all log back in. I'd appreciate it if you would. Okay, but I understand yeah. if you won't. So it's up to you. You know. So you want all of but, us to uh, go out and come back in? Did, did well, I'm going. Uh, yes, because I'll log off yes. and restart it. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to do okay, that and we'll come in again. Okay, 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 let's do it. Give me about two minutes. Give me about two minutes to do.